I'm going to show you the Trojan horse of the fourth revolution. This is the Trojan horse, and this technology uh, is supposed to change the reality of our world, but, and it has the potential to do it, but what happened? I go to a coffee and I see that in the coffee there are two friends, one in front of the other, and everyone is talking with his own telephone. Most of you probably saw that. So this device is that was designed by the creator of this device to promote communication is one of the sources of a, a, a isolation, social isolation, you know, despite. So this is a good example why we need to domesticate technology. It's very interesting in the last session, here we have the technologists. And here the technologists were trying to tell you, <laughs> you know, be very careful with technologies because technologies have good two edges, okay? One edge is very good, it can promote advancement for society, and on the other one it needs to be domesticated, as one of the previous speakers told, you know, is, 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 is important, so go to your place. And now, I'm going to show you, we can start. In order to fulfill the dream that Leora was talking about, we need to have a technology to put in practice this, this method of uh, shifting from automatic speech you know, automatic speech. You know, you are in the street, somebody touch your car and you start not to, to say the words. And you know, from where is coming all, the, all those words? Those words are coming from an automatic system that Leora was talking about, that is based more on reptilian type of neurology, that on the activity of a creative mind of the frontal lobe, and when, especially when it's linked to heart activity that will purify it, you know, to make it less, less egoistic. And uh, here uh, uh, we give another opportunity to our friend here, so he's going to do a reincarnation now. Instead of being a, a, a telephone, he will have an application that will help to a, to a person to shift from uh, automatic irrational speech into rational speech. Now, let me introduce now, I've got another 18 minutes. You are very generous with me. Okay, a person, you are in your room, and you say, is Yair at home? You know, you, you're here in the other room, you know, that somebody's knocking the door, somebody's opening the door, is Yair at home? And then, the frontal, uh, the frontal uh, doorbells, and you hear a familiar voice. You are not seeing the person, but only from hearing the voice, you already know who is that person that is not, he's, he's talking. Not only you know that, but he knows in what type of mood he is. If he's uh, anxious, if he's quiet, you know even if he is coming with good news or with bad news. How is possible for, the, for, the, for, for us to know that uh, all those, all those uh, uh, um, patterns in the voice is because of our hearing abilities and our neural networks that enable us to have a proper cognitive analysis that define the identification of the person. But the, bo the voice reveals much more than the content of the voice. It's much more that the, the, the sum of words that are in this conversation, you hear, the, the voice reveal, reveals the psycho-emotional mental state of the communicator. The, our brain knows how also to define what state is the person from hearing the voice. Some of us are more sensitive, some of, some of us are less sensitive of all, but you know, we have that, that ability. Now, the voice is created in the body. I'm, I'm not going to enter into the, the physiology of the, of, the, of, of, of the voice apparatus, but we can compare it with the, with the instrument, with the musical instrument. You know, we have a, a source of wind, and we, we have a, a, a resonant, a, a, a resonant a, 
uh, space, like every instrument, and you have the, 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 the uh, uh, keys to, to strike, to change the music. But the quality of the music depends not only in a good instrument, but it depends on the heart and on the ability, the manual ability of the musician. What are the, 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 the keys in our, in our vocal cord? They are, we have modifiers in our vocal cord. One of the, the main modifiers is our tongue, because the position of the tongue will define what type of sound comes out. You know, certain vowels have got certain, certain signatures, you know, I, uh, uh, and also, it will create, by, by closing them and opening them, it will create the consonants, etc. Therefore, and this is the type of, of signals that we receive, okay, and are studied, I'm not going to enter into that. The, uh, by, by, by producing those type of signals, uh, we hear the music, the music of the voice. We hear not only the content of what the person is talking, but really what, what, is, what is happening with that person. Now, it is very interesting to see what happened in the brain. Because in the Bible, say, it is written, you know, the, uh, 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 the death and life depend on the tongue. Now, the tongue and the lips and the vocal apparatus in the brain occupy 20% of the of the cord, of the motor cortex in the in the brain. An enormous, an enormous. Uh, uh, actually, there is a representation of the human being in the brain. It looks more or less like that. It is like you see here. You have the tongue and the, the the lips is enormous. Of course, the hands are very are very big also. But we sometimes think that our other parts of our body that are more represented. But you know, it's not like that. You know, <laughs> actually, the tongue is one of the uh, uh, the, 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 the the organs that are that are bigger uh, have bigger rep representation in the in the brain. Okay, we are not going to enter the several the pathways for the thing. This is not for us for now to do. Now, technology try to mimic. Always, technology mimics nature, and technology tries to mimic all those abilities that our neural system has, and our um, our uh, uh, and, and to try to disentangle from the voice whatever information is possible. And of course, we know voice identification. Our little friend here knows who identify your word. As soon as you say something, he says, yeah, Electa, Alexa is the name. Alexa, how are you? I'm very good. You know, he knows what he, he knows even what you are talking about. And there are even uh, new developments that try to define if the person is lying or is telling the truth through the voice, okay? And is, is, there are many uh, uh, voice medical applications, especially in the area of uh, ACE, uh, ENT, uh, ears, nose, and throat uh, uh, medicine. Now, we created a new type of application that measures the harmony in the voice, not the content, not the, the, the not too much through the uh, measurement of the spectral uh, uh, analysis. We use spectrum analysis, but that is not the ultimate uh, reality that we are measuring. But we are measuring what is the harmony in the in the in the in the voice. So from the voice, we try to disentangle what is the what is the degree of harmony that define the psychological posture of the speaker. He's in the position of trying to dominate us. He's in a position to, he's afraid of us, whatever he is. And the voice uh, uh, make evident that also through this uh, device, we can see subtle changes in emotion of the person. I'm going to show you a practical example of that. 
Also, it's, it's possible to see the effects of the training of, uh, 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 for example, switch my mind methodology. What we do is we do a, a recording of the voice before and a recording of the voice, the application of the switch my mind method, and we can see if the if the method managed to improve the quality of the voice. Now, unlike other systems that need between 30 seconds and one minute of voice analysis, if not more, this system is, is, is different in which it needs only quarter of a second of a voice of a person to define the harmony in the voice of a person. From that, it can take a, give a lot of uh, information on the quality of the voice, and uh, it give an online feedback so that the person, as soon as he speak about, uh, actually what they do is they say, ah, that's all. That's enough to disentangle from that the harmony in the voice. And they do, ah, uh, uh, actually, they do three times. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and they do the training, and then they, they all, all the, again, they say ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and from comparing the previous and the, the, it, the device can define the percentage of increase in harmony. I'm going to show you an example immediately. So, what the device me measures? It measures first the mathematical harmony of the voice, which is based on uh, the whole spectrum analysis rather than the spectrum analysis that is usually used in, in this type of uh, applications that is based on the envelope of the, of this, of, of the spectrogram. Okay, I'm not going to be very, very uh, theoretical here with, uh, because I don't want to lose you. But uh, uh, the interesting thing is that it also not only measures that, but it measures the musical harmony. As soon as we hear a person talking, we, we, are, we are moved by his music, by the music of his voice. Actually, there's something in our ear that, you know, especially we like the music of Mama. The music of Mama is wonderful in our eyes, and we remember that. And uh, uh, this is the device knows from that ah uh, that I was telling before to define the musical synchronization that is uh, 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 in the voice with actually musical scales that are known. Okay, we are using musical information and we see the synchronization that the voice have got with this musical uh, instrument, uh, musical uh, scales. Not only that, it also measures, I have struggled with this, is it measures gun, the musical synchronization when, with an internal dominant music. What is an internal dominant music? When we speak, we have a fundamental note, okay, that is the, the pitch that we are speaking. All this, by the way, is done totally unconsciously. You understand that we are not thinking how are we are going to, to say the ah, you know, I'm going now to the eh, eh, oh, no, ah. Just that, just, just that. That's the reason we wanted to do it very short, so that people are not trying to sing, uh, ah, oh, uh, because I try with many singers, and they are always trying to, you know, be very, you know, very musical, and, trying, and this is not what you are. We want to see the internal music of the voice, how the different harmonics are represented inside the music, the, the internal harmonics the, of the person, based on their own pitch, on their own pitch. Okay. The device measures also a correlation between the voice and environmental uh, features, environmental features that are known to change brain activity and heart activity. And also, it measures the degree of proportionality. Actually, you know that uh, uh, Leonardo, most of the pictures of Leonardo have got the golden mean inside them. They have the, this a mathematical, a, a mathematical exposition of the proportionality, of the, of the golden proportionality in the voice. We uh, applied that system to measure the proportionality within the 
different formants in the voice of that half a second. I know I'm, I'm, I'm talking about things that probably you don't understand very well, but I need to, 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 to tell you how it's done, okay? Okay, so, and we measure, last, we measure the negentropy of that in the voice. What is, you know, entropy in thermodynamics is the level of disorder that is in, in singular. By, by measuring the level of order, we measure the form that is inside the signal. Okay, all these things are measured by the, by, by the device, and we, let, let's go to an example, and I've got another five minutes, so I'm going to be fast. Uh, you can read all these things afterwards. So, this is a, this is a typical spectrogram. Here, we have a, a, a person, the device now is going to ha have the task to, the, uh, to uh, see the difference by a person just thinking of the word conflict and then thinking of the world of the world calmness. Just think on that, not meditate for long for long time. Just think think conflict, uh, think uh, uh, calmness. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to show you the differences. Two times com conflict. You see that the, is very similar. The, 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 actually, the spectrogram in the in the y axis is the power of the spectrum, and in the x axis are the different frequencies. So you have different frequencies, and you see that they are in conflict are two two similar ones. For calmness, also are very similar. The signature is very similar, but you see some differences. For example, you see here that the the, the, the more, there are more peaks here. You see, it's more, it's, it's more, it's more harmonics. The more harmonics have got a sound, the more musical the sound is. It's richer in harmonics, so it's more musical. So our algorithm take in consideration that. Okay, and here is another another uh, it changes a kind of shift of frequencies. But I'm not going to enter into that because I, I'm, I'm very short of time, and I want to show you other things. So this complex analysis is what is done in audio laboratories, okay, to see the difference. Now, our device, the only thing that it does is it gives, it gives a, a result. And, and let's, let's see the result. It gives now a number, which is 260, 400%. So the calmness produced two times and a half, 264% more harmony than to think on conflict. We're speaking just to thinking on a word, okay? So it's very sensitive system. The t-test done on, on, the, on the results of the algorithm are statistically phenomenal, okay? It's, it's 0.000, .000 so it's, 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 it's uh, very, very statistically significant difference. I mean, the, the device, instead of giving the, 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 the t-test, it, it, it changed that into a statement. So the user, the only thing it, it, it sees is, ah, 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 He's, he says, you did well, you didn't do well, it's amazing, Amaz in this case, it's an amazing improvement. Of course, I'm going to show you one very successful reading. Not all the readings are, la are la like that, but a lot of them are like that. And finally, the device has got instructions. It has got recordings before and after. It has got tutorials where the, the, the switch my mind uh, technology is explained. And it has got the ability to evaluate, so to give online feedback on this development. Okay, so these are the, this is the way it's done. She's saying, ah, ah, ah. It's a pre-switch uh, my speech after the training, and then another AAA, and you have the result. Very simple. We don't want to make it very difficult for the user, just, so in this way, now, the telephone is my friend again, okay? It has got a different connotation, and this is one of the examples that are needed in order to domesticate technology. Thank you very much.